Uh, one of the things that Bob and Sue have gotten a lot of questions about is what advancement are the boys doing at day camps. Um, this program, the, the uh, Arach um, Arthropod Academy Insect or Bug Hunters, um, was not really designed around advancement. It is the national summer day camp program uh, that we uh, went with. And so while there may be little pieces here and there within advancement that you can talk about, uh, there's no full advancement activity uh, within the camp. That said, uh, because that has been a concern, we went ahead and changed the, the format of fall day camp a little bit. Our theme is going to be called Creation Station, Discover, Design, and Build. And new this year, uh, groups will stay within their own unit. So all the tigers will be together, the wolves, the bears, and the weebelows will be together. And this year, they're going to complete an elective as part of fall day camp. Uh, the tigers will work on stories and shapes. The wolves will do adventures in coins. Bear will do beat of the drum. And weebelows will do art explosion. There will also be a game station, BB gun, archery, and slingshot. Um, so that'll be fall day camp this year. It should alleviate both some of the stresses on staff uh, with all the fall activities that are there and also um, allow for those advancement opportunities that uh, DEN leaders have been asking for. Um, you know, we shouldn't have any lions at that point yet because the day camp occurs before the fall recruitment. Unofficially. <laughs> yeah. Right. So the the lion program itself wouldn't have started um, until that until that till the fall recruitment time. Um, so for their paperwork is what is what my understanding is. Um, if you had some lions that wanted to come, uh, they could certainly go with the tigers and stories and shapes, but realize that they cannot do any of the shooting sports, and that could cause some tears. I have some input on that. Uh... Unless it's changed, lions are not supposed to go to day camps. Uh, you can have a special program in the middle of the day or at the end of your day camp, but we are not, last I heard, lions do not go to day camp. So. Um, always part of our program um, and part of the safety, and Bob will talk about this one when, uh, when we get to the um, notebook time, uh, when we go through all of the standards, uh, everybody needs to have on a wristband. It doesn't matter if you have five scouts or 105 scouts. Everybody who is attending day camp must have on a wristband. There will be plenty in your kits uh, to, put on, to put on everyone. It's for safety. For the scouts, it's so you know which scout goes with what or what adults are supposed to be walking around because most of the time our day camps are in open parks. Um, so please make sure that everybody, adults that are staying and your scouts, all have their wristbands on uh, for that day. This year's are a nice purple stripe. Uh, we do have two shooting sports stations within this day camp, archery and BB gun. Um, the archery will be standard. Uh, the um, districts all have their uh, archery and BB gun kits. Uh, please make sure that your person running that station is uh, certified, is range certified. If you don't have anybody that's range certified, next weekend at the training rendezvous they are offering uh, BB gun and archery uh, range training. So please uh, get those adults to that training and get them certified uh, for your camp. The BB gun targets this year will look like mosquitoes, so they'll have uh, mosquitoes that they'll be able to go at. The archery will be a standard archery target. Um, we're unable to demonstrate the solar bugs uh, at this point. The uh, company that is sending us the kits uh, don't have them all ready yet because of the quantity that we have. Um, Bob will be sending out a link that shows you how to make those ladybugs. Uh, the company has a full video on how to, how to assemble them. Please make sure that that station person is doing it. I have this very nice picture of what it will look like at the end. I'm going to bring it up toward the camera here so you can see it. So you'll have a ladybug version. And there's more of a, I don't know, grasshoppery type version of the solar bug. They're fairly 
simple to put together, especially if you were part of last year's when we had the, the little uh, bots for our Star Wars camp. Um, the body will come as a, a small wooden piece. Uh, on the video, on the training video from the company, they say to paint it. We're going to actually ask you to use markers so that we don't have a dry time. Um, you'll have pipe cleaners to use for the legs. Uh, you'll cut those pipe cleaners into thirds, so you get two pipe cleaners per boy. Um, one side goes on one side of the bug and the other goes on the other side of the bug. Um, you'll have a solar panel, and underneath is that same little vibrating motor and it atta gets attached to the solar panel underneath and then there's a little rubber band that holds it in place on either side. Stick it out in the sun and it will move and, and vibrate around similar to the bristle bots did last year. If it happens to be a cloudy day, the solar panels are fairly sensitive, uh, but if you have a super cloudy rainy day, um, the, the bots may not work right away um, and then you can talk to them about why, uh, how a solar panel works uh, and the collection you need. If you have an old flashlight, not an LED flashlight, but an actual light bulb flashlight, um, sometimes the solar panels will work on that. Um, if you have nice fresh batteries in it and you can get it to, to vibrate, it just won't be as vigorous as the sunshine. Okay, we're going to take a pause for the video and uh, get our things ready for our stations.